As much as we love the character, Sega has not always had the best track record with modern Sonic releases. With games like Boom, a classic, Forces, a classic, and Frontiers, a game I plan to check out shortly on my channel. Can you blame people for getting a, a little upset? <laughs> Apparently you can, because the next thing you know, Sonic was murdered. A visual novel styled game, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog is set aboard the Mirage Express. The train Amy Rose decided to host her murder mystery birthday party on it. Only she knew. We, alongside Tails, have to figure out who's the culprit. We meet with everybody and go over all the rules in the dining car. A little while after, things go haywire, and the next thing you know, we're locked in a closet with Amy and Tails while Sonic gets game-ended in the other room. We designed the difficulty of the think levels for experienced Sonic fans, but we understand every player has different skills, levels, and needs. I don't have very good handwriting. That's my name! Did I spell that right? No. <laughs> yes. They really did tune it to the Sonic fan. Dining car. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I always go out of my go all out for my birthday party. Oh, this train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything though. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal, can I get one of those? <gasps> oh my god, it's the guy, it's the. <laughs> I'm tired. It's the guy, the guy, the guy on the cover is Sonic. Huge. <laughs> I call him my friend, he's gonna get upset. Oh, why well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? Sonic, wait till I announce everyone rolls to get food. Ha, huh, sorry about that birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with, and we'll collect their tickets. <gasps> oh, okay, got it. Sonic. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Don't worry about it, I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kid swore you would swoop in eventually. And you did. I can't offer Mus other than my signet sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second, is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train. Sonic, have fun now. <laughs> yes, have fun. Why do I stutter so much? Will do, thanks. <laughs> Shoot, I was supposed to get Amy a cake. What am I going to do? <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> I'll figure something out. Tails, Tails my favorite. Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle jellison. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way! I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far. We're Sparkle Gelatin Buddies. Aha, absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. The only problem with this game is- Oh, it's Shadow, I didn't even see him here. He does not look very impressed. Who invited Shadow to the party? Thank you, everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Ah, uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. Oh, so cold. You're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Ah, uh, no, I'm good. Shadow. <laughs> what else do you need? Nothing, just saying hello. 
maybe I should uh Knuckles. Howdy, could I please get your ticket? Cause he has a cowboy hat on? I think oh he's scratched. Everything looks good, thank you. Hmm. <laughs> he didn't say anything. Espio, I must be not a I have no idea who this guy is, so like I must not be a true Sonic fan. Of course. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I pre oh, he has a rose. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. He considered me. Calm Why? I've been saying that out loud the whole time? <laughs> He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subcon- Oh. Wow, 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 ninjutsu. That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Could you cling onto walls? Cling onto what kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Rouge, Blaze, Amy. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? We didn't do her first, it's her birthday. Hehe, <laughs> why certainly? I'm not doing that anymore. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting, it's right up my alley. Yeah, who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast, just like every other white girl out there. <laughs> Maybe we should leave her. Before we move along for you, miss. Oh, it's how fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? Locks any door in the train. Happy birthday. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. I wonder what Cake Top or Sonic picked out for me. Do we tell her? I bet it's a good one. I bet you're right. What does Rouge have to say? Oh, this is Blaze. Sorry. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited, not for your friend. <laughs> oh, you don't say. Well, I'd hope you enjoy your stay, princess. What are you doing? Please get up. Why would I bow? Well, hello you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how bored. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. I'm gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. She's a criminal, get her off the train. What is she still doing on here? Please excuse me, darling. I just need to freshen up before the party begins. But you already look great. Don't I know it? Hello, my friend, can I get your ticket? Oh yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have um, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. She's not hiding it in embarrassment very well. So don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. That would be amazing. Thanks a million. Now onto the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you <laughs> will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you're the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Hmm, sounds like fun. Vector, you're the butcher. Espio, the poet, both found in the- why is the butcher in the library? 
Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. <laughs> he just... Okay. And last but not least, me. The journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with- Why am I so, like, doubtful of myself? Like, and I cook meals and I, I wish I could cook. I wish I was that up. Like, I have nothing to my name. What the hell? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? Now I have to explain myself. What the fuck? It's like, I just, like... I was like, why did this happen? I don't know, why did it happen? I pull out this and, like, play that for a little bit <laughs> before they have an answer. Well... Lucky for you, I'm a detective, and I dabble as a mechanic. Let's let me see both pieces of that hammer. Just tighten things up here, a little duct tape here, and bam. Damn, there's a disaster in here. Wait, is that oh <laughs> Sonic? It can't be Sonic! Someone ruining my dog. <laughs> She's so happy about it. I think she did do it. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So I'll leave their care to you, the intern I just hired. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. That out of the way, Tails and I make our way over to the saloon car where we meet a familiar cowboy. The only thing I picked up on was the fact that Knuckles had a huge episode of Gamer Rage. It's true. You vomins. What y'all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stink. He's not trying. That is it, Knuckles. We're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. And he mows you through and sold me all about it. <laughs> Enough of that. I wonder how long he'd kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. <laughs> I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. We need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. <laughs> Maybe playing the arcade machine. Investigate. All right, let's do it. You can just investigate the door. Let's go to the arcade machine. Clearly, we won't be able to give the game su <gasps> Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from punches. Who could have done this? What you two looking at me for? Smash the arcade. We just pick up the whole arcade. Food. Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Is it really? Kind of bland. Hmm. Seems like someone licked all the salt off them. What? <laughs> or maybe they're just unsalted. What the? <laughs> what? Is it? Okay. <laughs> classic saloon snack. I'd like to say this is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure. Why are there three? Ah, uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. Oh, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' colors at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. Used cups are added to your inventory. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it? Oh, I said leave. Can I take your order? Hmm, not hungry. Well, if you ever are, you let me know, won't you? Sure. Like a butler of sauce, right? Oh yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. I thought I told you to leave me alone. So, what now? I don't want to say either of those. Please don't beat me up. No promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No. You bruise too easily. Would it be fun? I bruise easily too. Guess I wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I fight you. <laughs> what the hell? Why? I have literally. 
He's not actually gonna fight me, right? Interrogate him. Knuckles. Diplex and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off, you're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Oh, is it? We have evidence too. We do? Diplex it, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Arcade machine. The arcade machine? Ha. What makes you think I touched it? Gotta think again. What happens if I don't get enough rings? <laughs> Am I just like incapable of thinking? <laughs> well, oh, um, you see, we. You <laughs> have no argument here. You're weak. Ouch. That place it. Let's follow that train of thought again, shall we? Sorry, Knuckles. Just give me a moment. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles. You clearly touched the arcade machine because... Ooh. Super Monkey Ball is a good game. <laughs> well, Super Monkey Ball has adrenaline pump and monkey ball action. This proves nothing about my current situation. <laughs> the arcade cabinet is covered in punches! What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade cabinet, but why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you? I'm on it. Diplex 8, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. I gotta think. Open if I don't distract him. <laughs> ah! ah, now Tails get away from that arcade cabinet. I have to try again. I have to get Super Monkey Ball fixed. It's imperative, please. Oh. Ah, now Tails get away from that arcade cabinet. I'm trying. It's actually a little bit difficult, this one. Not really, I'm just fucking stupid. No, <laughs> I messed up again on <laughs> real. How is this not entertaining for him? I'm just honestly, I'm just excited to get Super Monkey Ball fixed. That game's a blast. The arcade machine is fixed! We can all play! <laughs> no! Don't look at the scores. <laughs> look at the scores. Where is he? He did pretty good! Oh, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name. I didn't. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. <sighs> the picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score, and Vector beat you. Aw. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Aw. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me that he was here. Now. Oh my god. Alright, what evidence do we have? Nothing. He has a solid argument. Uh, there's nothing we could do. I have a thought. Now that I put say, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? The map. <laughs> no! I thought it was strange there isn't one, one cup sitting next to you. Are you supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday? You and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's, um, it's not like, it's not like I wasn't. Okay, you got me. Ah, oh, don't, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour, wanted to play the super monkey ball with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the high score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I already told you an abridged version of this to Amy. Oh, 
That explains one of the used cups. But what are the cup with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. Okay. Oh! It's in. It's inconsequential. Not worth mentioning. So you searched around for something but failed. Made fun of the game and left. What the fuck? Obnoxious that one. She doesn't like super monkey ball. And you offered her a drink apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up and I've told you everything that happened before this train sped up. Are you not satisfied or were you too relent? It all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our questions. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Hector, Knuckles, nobody named Toast. Nobody named Apple, nobody named Bread, nobody named Altum. I don't think you can eat that. All the other names have a food theme. But this one? Who here goes by Altum? You may not know Diplexate, but there is someone here that goes by the title The Altum. Oh my god, this is huge! Shadow sucks at Super Monkey Ball. Nothing sneaks by you, does it, blood? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then shadows dropped by. He taught us a game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, hmm? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it for anyone. Then, he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? Well, that was me. No, I think she had some sort of key too. Yeah, that's right, because she had a birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent, you're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. We thought. Fair enough, the library is in the next car. I'll open the lock for ya. You. You're everywhere, kiddo, Sonic and Earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. Well, do, Sheriff, come on, let's head to the library. On it. The next car on the train is the library car, where once again we meet up with a budding poet and a natural gamer. Nothing much happened here other than, you know, huge developments in the story, so I'm just gonna move on. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge her delicate perspectives with the most rhythm. rhythm Rhythmic a prowse. Can I hear some? Sure, uh Tear drops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 dee 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 dee. That sucks. What that what was that here? <laughs> I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. Ah, oh, I'm satisfied for now, thanks. <laughs> That's messed up. Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Wait, there's my lotion. Thank you. Crocs are natural gamers. Ask us the Crocs are natural gamers. The next car on the train, my personal favorite, is none other than the casino car. Here we meet up with two baddies. Please don't tell my girlfriend. We commit a few crimes with alongside tails, might I add, and gamble away all of our life savings in the slot machines. Like, what else could a man ask for? Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you've brought the microwave master with you. 
It's just so weird to be like with them as like with some minimum wage worker. The card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. That, what's your plan? See, there's a drink right out of coaster. Absolutely vile. I can't think of nothing worse. Despicable. I'd never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go up running immediately. I'm sure of it. One last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Have Tails disabled. Just pretend there's nothing wrong. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> it worked. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> no one has lived to tell the egg's secret because each egg is a bomb. Aww. I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it after all of our hard rouge. Fine, fine, fine. What do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Why is that an option? I'll let it finish ticking and see what happens. Alright. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, I punk say that is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Sir no, kiddo, we don't have any time. Sorry, it's just Azure did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the trains and annual. Do we have time for this flashback? Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Those robotic arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as this Faberage K08, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. That took like no convincing. The egg, it's open, it's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were on to side. This is the funniest option. <laughs> my, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Eee! And look what's inside. That's ice, that's fire. Wow, look at that sparkle. And it's so heavy too. I thought it was hollow. The final secret to the Faberage KO egg is a KO covered in gems. It's perfect, it's exquisite, it's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparky ornament? Well, I must admit, it is stunning. We still have no one lived to tell the Faberage KO egg secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know, who cares? What a precious treasure, a beauty to behold. Maybe they just naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. So, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely f tails. What the fuck? She's on her phone. It will never live anymore. Slot machine. Yes, play the slots. How many times can I play the slot machine before I lose everything in my head? <laughs> Dude, I'm like, what are you expecting to happen if you keep playing? Big money! I'm gonna get it this time, you'll see. Maybe next time? Big money. 
you know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over expecting a different outcome, right? I'm starting to get worried here. Don't worry, Tails. I got it this time. I <laughs> lost. You ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? The sunk cost fallacy? The phenomenon where a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy or course of action because they have heavily invested into it, even when it is clear that abandonment would be more beneficial? Of course I heard of it, why do you ask? No reason. Alright, big money, big money. I lost. Do I try again? No, move on. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. The next car we pay a visit to is the lounge car. This is the car we meet up with Shadow, so do I really need to say anything more? Here we find out that there was like a secret passage that led between this room and the library room. Information that would have been very useful to us just a few rooms ago when we were investigating the natural gamer and the poet. And the cutest thing ever, we find out that Shadow was actually in the process of buying Amy's favorite band concert tickets for her birthday. <laughs> I haven't been saving this entire time. Could you imagine? Hmm, I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they keep it? It's, it's so mean. Oh, the window. That oh, big as a cat. I'll play along and follow this train of logic. Get it? Train of logic. Oh, Shadow is buying concert tickets for Amy for her birthday. A lot happened in the last few rooms. We all meet up. We end up figuring out who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Turns out the train was made and ran by Dr. Eggman this entire time. Who would have guessed? The train has some emotional attachment issues with the conductor we have to hope with. Uh, Dr. Eggman roasts us a bunch for no reason. And we beatbox in the intercom for everybody to hear. Happy birthday, Amy. A microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Start <laughs> beatboxing. <laughs> Damn. Why are you reaching for the mic? Just uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive. Thank you for sharing. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, you spiky blue pest. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. You own this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. The train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever, but a highly in intelligent train may ask for something more interesting. Everyone, guess what? The station has a bakery, and look what I bought! Ah, uh, but oh, that is it. Oh, look at the cake! A birthday cake! Happy birth- oh. Happy birthday, Amy! It's so interesting for the game to glitch out there at the very end. I don't know if that was intentional or not. 